there is a, a meta-analysis study that was published in 2020 and include 356,000 uh, participants and show that those with a uh, greater tooth loss were at increased risk uh, of cognitive decline, dementia, and Alzheimer's. Pivoting now kind of to the relationship between oral health and cognitive health, which is something that I also didn't know until doing a lot of research um, into this topic for the podcast. Yeah, I was also surprised about that. And actually, there is a bi-directional relationship between oral health and uh, cognitive health. And uh, similar to the microbiome, the mechanism are not uh, fully understood. What is known, the data show that uh, poor oral health, specifically periodontal diseases, is linked to two-fold increase in the risk of developing dementia and 1.5-fold increase in the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Again, it's huge. It's, a, it's not a joke. It's a 2x or 1.5x. It's a very strong. So suggesting that uh, everyone uh, that worry about dementia, Alzheimer, uh, or any other cognitive disease should uh, uh, take it uh, uh, very seriously. But in the other uh, direction, uh, if you have a uh, dementia or Alzheimer disease, you have higher uh, risk to have uh, poor oral health. And I assume that that's because you are tend to forget to wash your teeth, you have to, uh, tend to forget to take care of it, and uh, basically the bacteria that Ashley uh, described before can have a party without you uh, controlling the party. So it's like a college kid that uh, staying at home for a week and the parents are not around and you come back and you see a lot of uh, buckets of uh, beer and wine and whatever in there. Uh, living. So that, uh, in my opinion, that's the reason for that. There are uh, a few key points uh, regarding the relationship between oral health and uh, uh, cognitive health. First is uh, inflammation. Um, so uh, chronic inflammation uh, uh, have been identified as a common factor in both oral health uh, uh, and uh, dementia, uh, particularly uh, gum disease uh, and, uh, and inflammation in the body including uh, uh, the mouse, may, uh, many co uh, contribute uh, to systemic inflammation, which is associated with cognitive issues. Also, uh, peridental diseases can contribute to cognitive uh, decline. And some studies have found association between uh, uh, peridental uh, gum diseases and cognitive de de decline. Chronic uh, gum inflammation may uh, release inflammatory molecule that could reach the brain and contribute to the neurodegenerative diseases. Again, nobody understands how, but uh, that's uh, the assumption today. As Ashley uh, discussed before, uh, we have 700 kinds of bacteria in our mouth, and there are uh, some evidence that's starting to appear that uh, uh, oral bacteria and their byproduct may uh, potentially enter the bloodstream and reach the brain. And that's my impacting the cognitive function. Uh, again, the mechanism is not clear, uh, clearly understood, uh, but uh, a lot of scientists are uh, starting to try to understand it. Now, interestingly, both uh, cognitive diseases and uh, uh, oral uh, diseases uh, share a lot of uh, risk factors, such as uh, age, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. And because of that, it could be that uh, because they have a, a similar uh, risk factor, there is a connection between them. But again, it's not uh, uh, clearly understood uh, uh, today why. And last but not least, uh, there is a, a, a correlation similarly in what we have seen for uh, longevity between uh, tooth loss and uh, cognitive function. And uh, uh, some uh, study have suggested uh, a strong correlation between tooth loss and uh, cognitive decline. Um, there is a, a meta-analysis study that was published in 2020 and include 356,000 uh, participants and showed that those with uh, greater tooth loss were at increased risk uh, of cognitive decline, dementia, and Alzheimer's. So again, uh, there is a lot of correlation between uh, those two uh, issues, but uh, the mechanism exactly is not clear. 